Hi friends, welcome to this video. The question is the first ionization enthalpy and second ionization enthalpy. Ionization enthalpy is represented by delta H I. Here delta H means enthalpy change of ionization. Right? Is it will be always expressed its assignment is kilojoule per mole. Right? And the electron gain enthalpy delta H Z. So electron gain enthalpy represent as delta H means enthalpy change. Ez means electron gain enthalpy. The unit is also same kilojoule per mole. They have given three elements one, two, three. Sorry, they have mentioned this. Just a minute. Okay. Ah, so they have given ionization enthalpy that is one and two, and also electron gain enthalpy of three elements one, two, and three, and the values they have given it. Based on this data, they have asked the question that the most reactive metal and the least reactive non-metal of the of these are respective, right? So by seeing that data, we have to tell which is more reactive and which one is least reactive, right? So one of the easiest question. So before telling about metals, reactive metal, reactive metal. What is are these reactive metals? See metal properties what metal easily gives one electron and it becomes what cation. So this is the property of metal. So for example group 1 alkali metals right this forms plus 1 whereas alkaline earth metals they form M2 plus M2 plus plus 2 electron. But we know that in S block elements where in S block element we have learned that these alkali metals will be highly reactive for example sodium if I add in water it forms what it forms sodium hydroxide NaOH along with that there is liberation of hydrogen gas along with that there is liberation of energy so this reaction we call it as exothermic right this things you have studied the energy is liberated such high that that energy will react with hydrogen and there will be fire there will be what fire so whenever you put NaOH directly in water you will observe that there is fire why it is fire because the energy which is liberated in that reaction again it burns this hydrogen hydrogen is very flammable it can be easily burnt and it catches what fire right so this sodium will be having more reactive right alkali metals are more reactive so here if you see NaOH it forms Na plus Na plus. If I want to remove one more electron from Na plus, that is ionization enthalpy 2, that is represented delta H I 2 will be very very high, very very high because Na plus is more stable compared to Na 2 plus because it will be having noble electronic configuration whereas Na 2 plus doesn't. So this is more stable compared to this one. So the second ionization enthalpy will be very high. So the question is most reactive metal. Most reactive metal means it should have delta H I 1 will be there right. It should be less because it should easily form this Na to Na plus right. It easily forms right. So exothermic very spontaneously it will form. So delta H 1 should be very less and delta H 2 ionization enthalpy 2 should be very very high more because see Na plus and Na2 plus Na2 plus doesn't exist why it's a second ionization enthalpy is very very high so if you see which is most reactive so among these one two see the first one the first element is having lower first ionization enthalpy compared to second ionization enthalpy so the most reactive metal is what one one is the most reactive metal but question doesn't stop here they have asked the least reactive non-metal talking about non-metals 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 means what oxygen family halogen family fluorine chlorine bromine right these we call it as non-metal fluorine chlorine bromine iodine if you see if i make it react with something they forms easily f minus cl minus br minus i minus if i take chlorine right Half molecule of chlorine to the if I react anything it will easily if it, it it will easily take this one electron to form Cl minus it will take such a way that it liberates energy it liberates energy so that the amount of energy liberated to take one electron in its 
वॉट वेलेंसी ऑर्बिटल राइट और वेलेंसी शल दैट वी कॉट एस आयनाइजेशन एन थल्पी राइट सिंस इट इज लिबरेटिंग एनर्जी द डेल्टा एच इज आयनाइजेशन एन थल्पी इज नेगेटिव सो दीज आर वॉट नॉन मेटल्स विच आर मोर रिएक्टिव बट द क्वेश्चन इज दे हैव आस्कड लीस्ट रिएक्टिव नॉन मेटल सो दिस आर मोस्ट रिएक्टिव नॉन मेटल वाई बिकॉज इजिली टेक्स ओन इलेक्ट्रॉन बिकम सी एल माइनस एंड ड्यूज एनर्जी एंड द एनर्जी विल बी नेगेटिव सो इफ यू सी डेल्टा एच इजी दैट इज एनाइजेशन एन थल्पी दिस इज नेगेटिव इट मीन्स इजिली फॉर्म्स नेगेटिव दिस इज ऑल्सो नेगेटिव माइनस थ्री ट्वेंटी एट इजिली फॉर्म्स नेगेटिव मीन्स दिस टू विल बी मोर रिएक्टिव मोर रिएक्टिव बट दे हैव आस्कड क्वेश्चन इज लीस्ट रिएक्टिव सो लीस्ट रिएक्शन यू वॉट प्लस फोर्टी एट बिकॉज इट इज नॉट इजिली फॉर्मिंग नेगेटिव चार्ज सो इट विल बी लीस्ट रिएक्टिव सो थर्ड वन इज लीस्ट रिएक्टिव नॉन मेटल सो वेर एज वी गॉट इट राइट वन इज वॉट मोस्ट मोस्ट रिएक्टिव मेटल वेर एज थर्ड वन इज लीस्ट रिएक्टिव नॉन मेटल सो दिस वन वॉज द ऑप्शन दे वी आर सर्चिंग फॉर सो वन एंड थ्री इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन वन एंड टू नॉट टू एंड थ्री नॉट वन एंड थ्री इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन वाई वन इज मोस्ट रिएक्टिव मेटल थ्री इज लीस्ट नॉन रिएक्टिव मेटल इफ दे हैव आस्कड विच वन इज द नॉन मेटल विच इज मोर रिएक्टिव देन द आंसर विल बी दिस वन टू वन एंड टू वन एंड टू वन इज मोस्ट रिएक्टिव मेटल टू इज मोस्ट रिएक्टिव नॉन मेटल बिकॉज इट्स डेल्टा ई जी वैल्यू इज नेगेटिव हाई माइनस थ्री ट्वेंटी एट सो इट विल बी मोर रिएक्टिव नॉन मेटल राइट सो बट हियर द क्वेश्चन इज लीस्ट रिएक्टिव नॉन मेटल मीन्स लीस्ट मीन्स लेस रिएक्टिव नॉन मेटल सो वी हैव गॉन फॉर प्लस फोर्टी एट एज इट इज प्लस इट इज लेस रिएक्टिव आई होप द आंसर इज वन एंड थ्री राइट आई होप दिस वीडियो हैज हेल्प यू थैंक यू